In this video, we will overview the Dispatch Board basics in Service CEO. The Dispatch Board is the calendar of Service CEO, but uh, really it's the brain center. And we say that because of our Common Actions button up here in the right hand corner. From here you can go through the process of adding in a job or an estimate or a brand new customer directly from the Dispatch Board. You can also show all of the jobs for the day on a map, print all of the work orders sorted by team or employee or print the route sheets, which are a brief one-page printout of your schedule for the day. First, let's overview the basics on here. Towards the left, we can see our increments and our view. This is currently set to a day view, looking in 120-minute increments. The increments impact the time frames across the top of the screen here. These can get as detailed as 15 minutes or as high as a four-hour view. We'll switch to 60 here, and you can see that this is now an hour increment instead of a two-hour increment. We also have a week view in the Service CEO calendar. This gives you the week at a glance and lets you really get a sense of how full a particular team or employee schedule is on a particular day. Coming back to the day view, we can see down the left our teams are at the top, and they're actually shaded light blue, whereas individual employees are shaded this beige color here. You can click on an employee's name to view the driving directions for the day. You can click their email to send them an email. You can click View Employee to view their employee record. Or from here, you can print their invoices, work orders, or the route sheet from the day in one click. Alternatively, you can print all of the work orders or route sheets from our Common Actions button up in the top right corner. You can see across the top which day you are currently looking at Please note that the dispatch board will open to the last day you are looking at it in. To come to the current day, you can simply click this calendar button and click the Today link, or you can click the double arrows to move forward or backwards one day at a time. Each of these blue bars is an individual work order in Service CEO. The picture you see here is actually linked on the substatus, which can be customized in Service CEO. We can click the blue work order bar to see the customer's name and their contact information. We can see the current substatus. You can click the link to open the work order. You can also view more contact information on the contact or more information about their physical address. You can see the arrival window, the current price point of this job, as well as any notes that have been entered onto this. You can from here print or email the invoices or work orders directly from here, or again, click our view work order link to actually open the work order, view it, or make changes. There's also a link, schedule another work order after this one. This will be covered in more depth in our smart scheduling training video. However, this pulls up a quick Google Maps and actually shows you the location of any jobs that are in our queues down here, unassigned, unscheduled, or earlier opening requests to allow you to figure out the most logical job to schedule after one where there are ever any cancellations or you have a gap in the schedule so you can schedule your jobs as close together as possible. There's a key in the top right corner, what do these colors and icons mean. This very briefly allows you just to see exactly what color means what. Note that the colors of your statuses can be changed in the settings tab on the jobs and work orders option. The dispatch board is drag and drop, so to reschedule a job, for example, from the Anderson family here, we're going to reschedule this from 1.30 to 3, we'll simply drag this over. Note the green text over the blue bar tells you exactly which employee and time you're rescheduling for. Jobs can also be extended in length, for example, this appointment is not done until 8 o'clock, I can drag this out to 8 o'clock and this will update the length on it which ties over to the employee hours work reporting. Let's talk about the queues at the bottom. The first is the unassigned work order queue. This is arguably the most important queue in Service CEO. This means that you have an appointment that currently is scheduled but not assigned to an employee. We'll drag this down here just to demonstrate it. So this is bright red, it says one unassigned work order. This means you've scheduled the appointment, the customer is expecting your employee to show up, but we haven't assigned this to an employee. It's as simple as dragging right back up here onto the calendar, hitting yes to reschedule from the unassigned work order queue. The next list is unscheduled work orders. These are work orders that have been created in Service CEO, 
but have not been scheduled yet for various reasons. You can see the sub-status of the job here, who the customer is, the length that it's been scheduled for if it's been given a duration, the location of this work order, as well as the summary of it. As with our work orders up top, you can simply click the blue bar to pull up the customer's contact information or get into the work order. And to schedule this, it's as simple as dragging it to the calendar and hitting yes. Note that this is a white shell at the moment, which back up to our key here, means that we do not currently have a duration on the job, which again is as simple as dragging out to schedule for the appropriate time frame. Finally, towards the bottom, we have an earlier opening request queue. This scenario is for you've scheduled an appointment with the customer already. You can actually see the date that it's scheduled for, but they'd like you to come earlier if you have any cancellations or you have ever have any earlier openings. So in this example, we've got about a three hour job here for the Anderson family and Jeff has a four hour window here. So I can simply click this blue bar here, see the customer's contact information, give them a quick call and if they're able to be available for this appointment today, I can drag this job right up here to the appropriate time and schedule it. Now using these cues, I just brought in revenue where there may not have been revenue coming in earlier. Finally, we have custom views on the dispatch board. Custom views allow you to limit the calendar to only see particular employees or teams or types of jobs. To create a custom view, simply click new view here. Let's say we want to see our team. We'll set up a view. We're just calling it the team's view. Note that you can filter by your business units. You can filter by who's assigned to it. In this scenario, we don't want to see individual employees. We only want to see our teams. So we deselect our employees and allow the teams to stay on here. You can also filter by the type of job, whether it's a one single work order, multiple work order, or a recurring job, or a sales call. And you can also filter by the sub-status too. For example, only show open work orders, or closed, or canceled, or of course work orders with a particular sub-status. You can also filter by the address, location, or the zones or by custom fields that have been entered on the employee. Finally, we have options on here. One of the more overlooked options are these two checkboxes at the bottom to show the work order type and to show the zone type on the dispatch board. Let's turn those on and hit save and see what we've got. You can see here, this put a custom picture on here to show me that this is a job with multiple work orders on it. This concludes the training video on the Dispatch Board Basics in Service CEO. Please contact us directly with any questions.